All right, you guys, check it out. We're hooked up. There's the lodge. There's Blue Gabe. There's Kelly. There's the rest of the crew. You actually load up on the... There's two mule deer right there. Holy mackerel. So like I said, we're on the boat at the lodge, and he literally pulls us in the boat, right down to the boat ramp, throw it in the water, and you go fish, man. You know, this is super cool. I love when Austin and Jordan are filming and whatnot, but it's so cool just to be back old school. Me holding the camera, Gabe holding the camera, Kelly, whatever. We're just having fun, man, fishing and, and hanging out with you. Look at that, y'all. Big, beautiful, full moon. Chad, which thing we're gonna catch today? Uh, probably a little bit of everything. Probably catch some steelhead, maybe some salmon. That's the target species. Starting off the day, checking out about a hundred in turkeys. Yeah, we're, we're up here on the Snake River today. We're gonna try a little bit of different water, a little different scenery. Plus, it's a little warmer up here. We got 60 degree water instead of 45, so that'll make the air temperature this morning a little bit more pleasant. This is stuff dreams are made of. Like, just look down, look, like, look around us. 360. This place is amazing. Kelbell oh, got him on. Yeah. Second steelhead. Jumping. <laughs> Yeah! Right. Nice oh fish! Good job on the rod too, Kelly. Thank you. <laughs> the colors are so vibrant on this steelhead. Look at those pink cheeks. Now just like the one I caught yesterday, that little fin up there, this is a wild one. So we're gonna have to release him. Go ahead, shoot him in the water. I need me a scrimp. I'm out of scrimps. So Captain started the morning off with a competition and said, long rodders versus short rodders. <laughs> I'd have to say the, the short rodders are spanking them this morning. This fish is flipping and flopping and rolling, shaking its head like an alligator does. It does, absolutely. Rolling around. You can't look in any direction and not see something beautiful. I don't care if you look straight down or straight up. <laughs> I'm like, I don't give a dang about a fish. And then, boom, there went the bite. Yeah! Woo that thing aired it out. I don't know if y'all can tell this, but this is amazing. Like, Cap. <laughs> I mean to tell you. What? Did you, what, did you see that? Did you see that cat? I saw it. You never take your bird dogs to the best hunt spot first. You gotta wait till they settle down, you know, settle into the groove, and then you go to the good spots. The sun's not even up. We've already caught four steelhead. They call steelhead the fish of a thousand casts. Well, I say, Go fishing with Captain Dagum Jason and just catch them. I mean, this is, if you want to catch them, go to where they are. This is where they are. That's a tree break of hell. Yeah, nice one. The problem is right now we have massive rapids behind us. We got to catch him before he gets to the rapids. Otherwise, this could be a life-threatening situation. Huge fish, rolling around like a like a swordfish. We're gonna try to get over here in the eddy before we get to the before we get there. So 
incredible how strong this fish is. Down here trying to get me in the rocks. Uh, oh, and it, it looks like a hatchery. I didn't see a fin on the top. My heart is pounding right now. <laughs> Look at that big hen. Man. Look at that. Unhook it real quick for me, please. Big King. What an amazing fish, you guys. Look at that. It's we can't keep this. Yeah, wild. It's a wild king salmon. Nice fish. Winner, winner. Well, we're not eating salmon for dinner, but we did just catch one. For those of you guys, if any of you are watching this program and say to yourselves, I want to go there, this is who you want to go with. This is Captain Jason. What's your company? Hell's Canyon Sport Fishing. He's got, what, five boats? Yeah, we run uh, five captains through the season and uh, we pretty much have availability. If you want to come fishing, look us up. We'll get you out on the river. All his, dis all his links will be in the description below and I give you my thumbs up, two thumbs up. He is deer meat for dinner approved. This guy's awesome. Not only is he very knowledgeable of the land, of the wildlife, of the fish, he's also a really personable, fun guy to be around and you'll enjoy your day. This is epic. Woo! Yeah. Are you kidding me? So what's it been like coming on this trip? This is amazing. This is, I can't even explain this. My arm is burning and I am not going to give up on this guy. I wanted to see a sturgeon on this trip. That was like my main goal is to see a massive sturgeon. And I just saw one. Okay, so we gotta watch out. See, there's rocks here. Gotta make sure that this fish comes down the stream. Hold your rod up to the right. There you go. The cap is an amazing boatsman here. Really understands the river and what's going on. Perfect. He uses this high vis line so you can see it. there. Needless to say, the fish was right there. That's a steelhead rod. He just caught a big old sturgeon on it. I call it a win. Woo! Unbelievable. That's your fifth species. That fifth was, species. Wow, what a monster fish. Just to see that power coming out of the water. Okay, you guys, so check this out. Just got back to camp here. This is what I'm cleaning. That's what we're gonna cook today on deer meat for dinner. Beautiful steelhead. That's a sucker that Gabe's gonna cook on his channel, Blue Gabe. So if you wanna see what a sucker, something with big old floppy lips like that tastes like, check out Blue Gabe. There'll be links in the description below. But as for me, let's clean this sucker. First thing you wanna do is get him cleaned up. Look at the eggs. That's the row. We're gonna save that for bait. Mm. This we can use for sturgeon bait. Then right in the bottom of this fish, right here, let me show you something. You take your knife, I'll try to take your knife, and just cut down there. Then use your finger and dig out all that blood. We want to get rid of that. Get them in here. It's unbelievable. Catch this fish right here in the river. Clean it and we're about to cook it. 
over a hardwood fire up at Jason's camp. Now, if you watched yesterday's video, we cooked that fish at home with Sarah and the girls because this was supposed to be Sarah's trip. But now that we're here, Gabe caught this fish and we're gonna cook it right up there. Okay, wanna make sure you don't get sand anywhere. You don't want sand on this fish. Move him over there. And they're very slippery. So I'll take a, a towel like that and lay it out here. Now that will keep this fish from sliding around. Now he's, he's nice and secure. Make one cut right in there. This knife is razor sharp. That's a silver stag. We're actually up here with Brad Smith who owns silver stag and makes this knife. If you want one of these before Christmas, I promise you, please click on the link below. It's the best fillet knife I've ever used and they will sell out very fast. Watch how this does it. It's gonna cut one perfect cut right down the backbone, just like a hot knife through butter, all the way down. Now look at this, look at that color. Look how beautiful that is. We'll bone that out in a second, but first we're gonna clean the other side. These are the little rib bones that I cut through. All you've gotta do is take this knife and just gently cut right under them there. You're gonna to come to a little, a little pin bone there that you've gotta get under. And then just gently fillet them off, just gently. These knives are so sharp that if you're not careful, you just cut them. Hmm. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is a perfect steelhead fillet right here on the banks of the Snake River in Idaho. Proud to be American, y'all. Proud to be an American. Guys, so this is what we're gonna do. Typically, you would lather it up with a little bit of butter, but today we're gonna use mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is gonna add a little bit of flavor and it's also gonna really, um, just add, add a nice amount of oil to our fish. Anytime you go in the bush, you're always gonna have some type of, of mayonnaise with you and try it. You can use it on your fish, you can use it on your meat, like a deer meat, wild hog, gator, frog legs, anything like that. Ooh, look how good that is. Nice, huh? Then, this is called Don Juan's Special. At the lodge we're staying in, this is his special seasoning and it's legendary. I don't even know what's in it, but we're gonna season up our fish real nice. Like, I am just so happy right now. Look how good that looks. All right, y'all. The mayonnaise is gonna act as two things. One, it's gonna lubricate this fish and we're gonna start it skin side down. Just like that. Let me get the second piece. Mm. It's like this grill was made for it. Wild steelhead over an open campfire. The smell is amazing. Like just that hard wood. You got a boat coming. Up. Yeah, look at this boat right here. It's very important when you do this, make sure you, how you like this? My spatula is kind of like a left-hander. Make sure you move it so that it doesn't stick. Now we're gonna just let it cook. It 
if you don't like steelhead, he's got a beautiful hamburger. This guy does it right. We got some awesome handmade patties. We're gonna have a decent lunch one way or the other. Yeah, spike camp done right. Now, let's just, uh, oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Hey, if you don't like that, you're communist. Hey, Robert's up there on the bank cooking. I'm down here fishing. That's us cooking right up there. This is Gabe catching one right here. And it's in beautiful, clear water. The weird thing is, is the fish is showing me who's boss. It just swam in this cove, said that. Nah, we're gonna get out of this cove. Hey, Jason! Check that fish and make sure it's not burning, please. Doesn't get any more beautiful than this. Yeah! It's pretty sick. Wouldn't you agree, Robert? I couldn't agree more, man. Congratulations, bro. Oh, beautiful. I'm not even going to cut the camera off. Look at this. This is no joke. This is for real, y'all. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. That's what's going on right here. <laughs> Gabe was there. What do you think, Jason? Oh man, we got it going on. We got pulling fish out of the river. We got fish on the grill. Looking good, bud. I'm probably taste that. Pull it on. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to take this right off the skin. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Just come right in there and then use your splatula. Take it right off. Perfect portion. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Blake, first steelhead. Some of the best fish I've ever had. Easily. Really good. This is the definition of fresh. This is a lot like the old school days when we started deer meat for dinner. We didn't have a cameraman. We just all took turns holding the camera. Just like I recalled, just buttery, creamy, rich, lovely food. Straight out of the river, the Snake River. The last time me and Gabe were on that river was in 1988. We crashed and about died with my dad and Ray Spear. Here we are, 32 years later, having one of the best times of our life. Literally, there was just a whole herd of bighorn rams right there. We're eating, having a blast. More, more importantly, I wanna tell you, thank you for being a part of this. Your support, love, and encouragement is what makes this all possible. So for that, I say thank you very much. That's all I got for today. We're heading back tomorrow. I can't wait to see Sarah and the girls. And uh, I appreciate you. Take care, God bless, and we gone.